sind heute zu Gast in Stuttgart im Club Universum. CUC machen gerade Soundcheck und äh, danach quatschen wir ein bisschen über Equipment und dann schauen wir uns das mal an. Komm mit! Okay, uh, I'm, I'm pretty uh, yeah, humble and pleased that uh, you guys from Croton Comedy took time to show us some gear. Right to my right side, it's uh, Woody Weatherman from COC. Uh, it, it, it's our pleasure, man. We're, we're stoked to be here. Yeah, well, <laughs> thanks, thanks for having us anyways. So, uh, would you mind showing us around your very special mojo gear? Well, sure, man, sure. Come on up, man. It's not a lot to it. It's just pretty simple. I run a simple gig, man. I'm like, I'm not a big pedal guy, so. I know. The important part is here. That's the brains of the operation. <laughs> like so many other people, these, I've been using these old rectifiers for like, since they first started making them, you know, and I just, I find something I like and I stick with it, you know. Uh, for me, it's the Mesa heads and I, and I, I love at home and whenever we travel, I love the, the big thick orange cabs, you know. They got the vintage 30s in them, but they, but they nice and chunky, you know, I love it. Yeah. And really, man, for me, man, I've got a tuner and I've got a freaking cry baby <laughs> and that's me man that's my my, my rig rundown is pretty simple is it, it's just a, the it's simple cry baby <laughs> that's it just a regular old joe schmo cry baby the old school you know nothing no fancy you know and i i only use it i the problem with a cry baby is it makes everything you do sound great so you got to just not use it too much okay. just use it a couple times you know because you don't want to overdo it because you know you can always run to the cry baby and fake it <laughs> you know, so, so I, I I try to use it very sparingly. But other than that, man. So it's just a stock crybaby, no, no. Uh, no, nothing, no. Slash snake. I can get one off the shelf, the, the, whatever the cheapest one is. You know, no extra, no extra stuff. You know, but you know, in the studio, it's all bets are off. You know, we use all kind of pedals in the studio. Do, you know, getting different tones and stuff. I'm okay. not scared of. But it, it live, I try to keep it simple, man. You know, I uh, if I get too many pedals, I get confused. So I try, I try to make the noise with this, you know, as much as I can. It's a wise man speaking. <laughs> so, uh, would you mind grab one of your guitars? Yeah, yeah, let me grab one real quick. Because I think you brought some, some new ones. Yeah, yeah, we, we did. We got a couple of new ones. We got, uh, I got this one. I haven't even had time to put my, uh, my Seymour Duncans in this one. But, uh, you know, I, sometimes I try to play different stuff. I've got my favorite guitar. And I've got two or three other ones. This, this one actually uh, was made at the same time as those other ones. Uh, ESP was kind enough to uh, make us some custom shop stuff back in the day. And, and through the years, they keep uh, giving us different things. But, you know, man, it's, uh, it's basically, you know, the horn, the horn shape, kind of the SG style, just a little bit different. It's lightweight. It's got the they don't make neck. it. They don't make them now. They won't make them anymore for us. But... Uh, You know, man, because we, we tend to beat the hell out of the guitars, and we really just needed something that would stay in tune. Sure. And uh, really, Hetfield got us hooked up originally. Back when we, we were talking earlier about, you know, they were out with Metallica and stuff, and we were complaining to him because none of our guitars would stay in tune. We were beating the hell out of them, and he was like, let me make a phone call. And he did. He hooked us up. <laughs> nice move, dude. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, uh, the, the legacy of, of Hetfield still paying off for us. We still use them, but... Uh, Man, I, I, I keep things as simple as I can, you know. And it's, and it's a special pickup. It is. I mean, these are these are the uh, yeah. These this is the uh, the Seymour Duncan, the Invader. Right. And and I've got uh, I've got the Billy Gibbons Pearly Gates up top, nice. just in case, you know, in case I want to get wild. <laughs> Some funny melodies. That's right. That's right, man. So we we keep it simple, you know. But uh, what kind of gauge you play? Eleven to fifty-two. And you, you Because we we do set, we do right? yeah we do D standard and then a lot of tunes uh, we do drop C on the top, uh, kind of like half and half. But yeah, we've been tuning like that for since the Blind album, you know, 20, 30 years or whatever how long it's been, you know. But you guys won't use any drop D tuning or drop drop tuning. We do we do a drop C because we're we're in, we're in drop D, C. Sorry. Yeah, we're in D standard, which means everything is down one step. Right. That's a lot of our tunes, and then, you know, some of the songs we go. Brr. 
and go down, you know? <laughs> okay. Put the heavier stuff, you know? Try. Thanks so much, man. You got it. That's man. about it, right? That's it, man. I'm simple. That's all mojo. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> thank it you so much, Woody. Take much to get to know my rig. All right. Thank <laughs> you so much. Thank you, man. <laughs> nice. Okay, right to my left, this is Mr. Papakin from Corona Conformity, uh, and he likes to hit the shit out of me. <laughs> no. no, actually, he likes to beat uh, the shit out of his uh, gear. Yeah, I do beat the shit out of my gear and steal his t-shirts. Yeah, from time to time. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, show us your guitars first. Ah, uh, man, well, our You got some new stuff, right? Woody probably told you, we went to South America, mm -hmm. and we were flying every flight, so I didn't want to bring the, the breadwinners, mm -hmm. you know, which we usually do. Uh, so they loaned us a couple of guitars that we just carry around with us. And not a big deal. This one they gave us. We use this one in the studio, actually. Nice. This one, yeah, it's good. It's got some weight to it. Uh, we call it the Lexus. The Lexus. <laughs> <laughs> For a multitude of reasons. And it's all hooked up with the uh, Seymour Duncan Invader, right? Yeah, it's got an Invader in the front. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, keep no it real. No pearly gates left. No pearly gates on that <laughs> one, though. And this is just another... ESP guitar and I kind of doctored it up myself. That looks nice. Uh, FTW, you know what that stands for? Mm -hmm. F fuck Tony Weatherman. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so I just took the knobs off and, you know, fancy shit. I like that. Yeah, keep it real. They play great. There's a nice treat to the guitar. Yeah, all easy. That's Woody's guitar, right? Yeah, we got that yeah. already. Not much information there. Okay. It's got uh, strings on it. Check out the yams and the board. Uh, Thunderbird 50s. Best amp for me, I think. Uh, channel B has one, two, three knobs. Volume, shape, and gain. But the attenuator is a big trick on that. It's got a power soak on it. So I keep it real simple. You turn it this way. You're Tom Petty, you turn it this way, you're Master Puppets. <laughs> it's about as simple as I can put it. Orange cabs, both of them fired up. And, you run, uh, run both of them? Mm hmm. But you do switch between uh, distorted and clean, right? No, no, they're both just gassed. Okay. Yeah. You roll the vo volume up? One goes to this one, one goes to this one. Okay. Yeah, roll the volume back, it cleans up. Okay. And then a simple pedal board. You know, Tube Screamer, Phase 90, crappy delay pedal, party time clock, got to have that. And uh, this little doubler, it's pretty good. What's that doing? <clears throat> it kind of kind of replicates a Cooper Time Cube kind of thing, like Skinner solos kind of shit. That's the thing that, that John Custer is really keen on when you, yeah. you record a deliverance, right? Mm -hmm, yeah. So it kind of kind of gets close. It's not as good as a Cooper Time Cube, but I'm not going to carry that. Of course. Around. Right. That's about it, man. But that, that's my big thing right there. That's the big pedal. Tuning pedal. Yeah. No. Fuck the tuning pedal. The clock. <laughs> that way I know when party time is going to happen. <laughs> Okay, well, thanks so much. Yeah, pretty simple. Yeah? Ain't no rocket science, right? No, it's not rocket science. <laughs> See ya.